Okay, so I came back from the flea market not too long ago, and when I was at the flea market, I found this particular 3x3. Three three. Now, you may be thinking, what's so special about it? One, the size. Here, compared to a 57mm 3x3, three three, it's small. Two, the color scheme on it. It has the old Japanese color scheme. Three, the age of the puzzle. The age is special because it's 1980s Rubik's really Cube. And I, I was like shocked when I found this. I, I was like, just imagine this um, glitter 3x3 three three as this mini one. It, it was just sitting in the box and all scrambled up. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. A 3x3. Three three. And when I picked it up and I looked at it more closely and it was a fully functional Ruby Steam. Not just one of those gimmicks, um, toys, um, keychain things that, like, not even, like, fully functional. Yeah. But, it's really good. Stiff at the moment. Gonna loop it up soon. Um, and yeah. It's small, but... Compared to my 42mm Zancy, it's a bit smaller. About 3mm smaller. Compared to my Jimi Hendrix cube. Roughly about the same size. A bit smaller. And, the weird thing is, it happened to be the same booth that I bought this vintage Pure Minx from a couple months ago. Same spot. Same type of flea market, but happen again. Hopefully this happens more often than ever. And hopefully I can find something even more special and rare that's not even more common of a WCA, WCA puzzle like, for example, Alexander Store or something else like that. The mechanism of this uh, standard. Yes, standard. But the core inside, if you can see inside of it, is a transparent core. Transparent core on the inside. And then, if you can tell, there's glitter on the center pieces. I mean, like, what the f... How in the world did the glitter get in there? Yeah. So, it's kind of a neat cube. The chain is sort of a little unique also. Because of the, the ring is sort of not your typical uh, chain ring. Because, let's uh, just take a look at the shape of it. It sort of looks like one of those uh, metal puzzle ring chain puzzle rings like this one. Sort of. Yeah. And, I, I mean like, I love it. And, the sticker seems to be like, really good quality stickers. Not like the cheapo kind that Rubix has on the newer stickers, you can tell. Yeah, on the newer cube. I'm getting that out the mechanism. Here's the it's actually the same same mechanism. 
Yeah, but the pieces on this feel more solid. Like, it's, it's not going to break that easily. Compared to some other cubes which I had that had very thin pieces. Yeah, I love it.